Hi everyone and welcome to your collective Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards are predicting for you, for um, you and your Twin Flame connection. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind guys. If you are after a personalized tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see what's coming in for you and your twin flame connection here. Okay, it appears as though there's quite a lot of tension or conflict here in the energies, okay? We have the Hermit here, which um, can be symbolic of no contact, no communication between you and your special person here. Um, it also feels as though with the Hermit's energy here, someone has pulled away and is very, you know, has withdrawn into themselves here. So they could be in a phase where they're doing a lot of introspection here, where they're drawing their attention inwards here but it feels like your twin flame here or perhaps even yourself may have withdrew your energy your attention and your focus here or their focus away from you it can also indicate a period of loneliness okay and if so if you have experienced some sort of disconnection or disruption to the flow of your connection here then i feel like your twin flame here is feeling very lonely so if they have walked away or they've made the decision to pull their energy away from this connection, then I do feel like they're feeling very lonely without you. And in a sense, your twin flame may even be humbled by this sense of loneliness that they are feeling here. They may also be contemplating some of the decisions or choices that they've made here regarding um, their connection with you. Now, there could be... if. It just so could happen that the, your twin flame, he may have choices or options around them. But I feel like they're at a stage where they're wondering if they did make the right choice by pulling themselves away from you here or by withdrawing their energy away um, from the connection here. It feels like you're right now. It's very uncertain as to where this is all going. You're not necessarily sure of what their feelings are for you. And to be honest with you, they're not necessarily sure of you know, the, those feelings themselves here, because there's a lot of uncertainty here, but it feels like not everything is going to be revealed all at once. It feels like there's a lot of things um, up in the air right now. Okay, so, and it feels like that the lantern and the moon's light here is that guiding light here, is that guiding light out of this state of emotional confusion, out of this state of uncertainty as well. I feel like, um, if you are experiencing like a disconnection, no contact, no communication or some sort of discord between you and a twin flame here, you could also be going through that runner chaser stage of the twin flame connection here. It feels like um, now's the perfect time to probably really contemplate your and their motivation for this connection here. And it feels like instead of it feels like this is what your twin flame should be doing, you know, this period of introspection and this period of reflecting, but it feels like they don't want to necessarily confront that. I feel like they don't, um, they're struggling confronting some of the decisions and the choices they made or even some of the, the feelings and the thoughts they have. And to me, it feels like they're using outside distractions to keep them occupied because I feel like when they are alone with themselves, obviously they're alone with their thoughts and they're alone with their feelings and therefore they're being faced to face um, some of this pain or some of the emotions that they're feeling and let me tell you this connection does feel intense but it feels like your twin flame is really holding themselves back from fully opening themselves up to you and fully opening themselves up to explore this connection here it feels like your twin flame may carry around some emotional trauma or some emotional pain that i'm seeing as well and it just feels like they're very withdrawn into themselves right now Um, they're 
if they have if it appears as though they've moved on i feel like they're still stuck on you i feel like they're not able to move on from you and from the emotions that they feel towards you okay and i feel like yes they can run from you and they can withdraw the energy from you but at the end of the day they carry those emotions that they feel for you within their energy okay and i can see that they're being weighed down by some of these emotions here so i'm also seeing that they're unable to forget and move on from you and they're realizing that they do have feelings for you and those feelings that they have for you are probably a lot stronger than they care to admit to so even though they feel like they can run away from you at the end of the day they can't run from the feelings that they feel for you here okay and that in itself you know is speaking volumes here because i feel like your person is pulling away from you because in a sense it's a fear that keeps them immobilized is the sense of they're afraid to open themselves up um, to explore love, to become vulnerable with you. They may have certain unhealed emotional wounds or certain emotional triggers as well or emotional traumas here. And I feel like there, there's something here that's really, something here that's going on within their energy here. And I feel like it's this disconnection or discord that's happening between you that's really triggering them into realizing just how much they feel for you. Okay, because it feels like they're trying to resist this connection on some level by withdrawing by pulling away they're trying to it's like they're in denial of their feelings towards you okay they could have other options or choices that they may want to just keep open and keep exploring here but at the end of the day um, i feel like they can't fully deny that you know they feel what they feel for you but they're scared to me it feels like they're holding back because they're scared to act on those feelings and it does feel like there's something there that keeps them captivated or that keeps them stagnated. There's this sense of fear or this sense of insecurity or this sense of anxiety here that keeps them paralyzed, that keeps them immobilized into taking any actions towards you. And instead of moving forward with their feelings or moving forward with this connection with you, they pull away. They engage in self-sabotaging behavior patterns you know, by potentially ruining what could be a very wonderful and healthy relationship here. Okay, so to me, it just feels like whatever it is going on right now, especially if there is a no contact or no communication period between you and your twin flame here, it's definitely making them realize, it's definitely making, it's opening their eyes to the fact that what they have with you is something very special. Yes, there is passion, there is attraction here, there's, there's a sense of friendship, there's a soul, sense of a soul connection, there's a sense of familiarity. You know, there's um, a lot of different kind of like a, a concoction of emotions involved here. And I feel like it's only, and it's funny because it's made, it's made them walking away from you or you pulling away from them. It's made that situation, um, it's made that walking away or that withdrawing or that whole you know disconnecting it's made that's what's made them realize that hey you know they potentially love you or they potentially are falling in love with you or they have feelings they have such strong intense feelings for you that they um, are afraid to admit the other thing is they've never felt this way about anyone before and they're not really sure how to deal with this whole intensity of this connection here because twin flame connections can be really intense, right? Often they're so strong, so intense, so addictive. It's like an out of this world experience here. But it's an experience that allows you and it takes you on this journey. It carries you on this wonderful journey, on this wonderful adventure here. And to me, right now, what's really becoming clear and what's really becoming apparent to them is that this is a connection unlike any other. This is a soul-based type of a connection. This is a connection in which they've never been before. You know, when the two of you have great times, they're exhilarating. But the low times can be awfully low here. And those, you know, low times can really um, drive you crazy. And it's so intense that because of its intensity, it can have, unfortunately, it can have potential to destroy someone, okay? Um, so... This is what I feel like they're having a really hard time um, dealing with here. Okay. Um, I, 
I feel like what's going on between you and your twin flame as well is pushing the both of you to reach a higher self here. Because I feel like I opened, um, so we opened up this reading saying that there's a lot of conflict and tension. And it's this conflict and tension that's going to allow you to transform this connection, allow you to, you know, elevate the status of this connection here. Okay, and it's because I feel like it's been a rough journey. It has between you and your twin flame. It's been a rough journey. Um, there's been a lot of friction, a lot of tension, a lot of comfort, a lot of discomfort. Sorry. However, I feel like your twin flame sees a future with you, but they're in denial of that. Your twin flame sees you in their future. Your twin flame realizes now that they do have very strong and intense feelings for you here, and it feels like. It feels like they do want to make things a lot less tumultuous between the two of you because things have been very intense here. But to me, it feels like your twin flame needs to learn to love themselves a little bit more here. Okay, they need to take a much more closer look at themselves and how they treat themselves here. Because maybe in the process, they've put a lot of emphasis on trying to impress you, trying to win you over that in the whole, in the process, they may have lost um, a sense of individuality or who they are. Or they may have even lost, you know, um, being in touch with themselves here. Okay, because how can they give you love and how can they give you joy if they're not full of it? So I feel like, you know, this whole disconnection, this whole time apart is actually a good thing. It's, you know, it's actually a blessing in disguise because it's opening up your twin flame to a lot of things, a lot of um, discovery about themselves and discovery about just how much the potential this connection holds. And if only they allow for their intuition and their emotions to be the guiding light out of this rather tumultuous or dark situation, because there is so much feelings that they feel for you. But instead of allowing to really feel those feelings, you know, they're scared. They're scared. And that's the very thing that's keeping them immobilized and preventing them from carrying out any action towards you here. Okay. But it feels like you have filled up their cup, their chalice. Um, and it feels like, you know, you've loved them enough. It's not you, it's them. But I feel like what needs to happen is um, right now they need to get a little bit more clarity on their emotional state, on the feelings that they feel for you, on you know whatever it is going on with them as well. So maybe giving them some time and some space could be a good idea because it's true, as they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And sometimes, you know, being apart can really bring the two of you closer together. Sometimes things fall apart so that they could come. A come together in a bigger and better way and maybe this is what's you know happening here all right guys so these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing if you're after a personal reading please feel free to connect otherwise bye for now